possibly the final Chrono Trigger for many years. So, let us make this a good one, shall we? Now, since last time I played and now, uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth has come out, and that's been occupying a lot of my time. And, uh, I'm enjoying it. But as much as I'm enjoying it, there's still no comparison to the, the classic Squaresoft, like, glory years for me. It's a very, very different type of game than even its namesake. But, um, it was really good to play this again, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm really glad everyone could, uh, stop by for it, and some of you for the very first time. We have the Black Omen. Now, some of you may know, you can do this three times. You could do it once in the future, once in 1000 AD, and once in 600 AD. That is severely overleveling if you do that. I see no need for that. Oh, you can't do it in the future? Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. You can do it in... ...the Ice Age. Know this. The mighty Lavos reigns here. Relax, poor creatures. The mighty Lavos has already consumed this world's life energy. Yeah. I forgot about that. That is uh, a thing that happens. It's amazing how in the golden years, each and every game they dropped was a banger. I don't think any other game company can compare. I think there's some. Like, Rare at their height was pretty amazing. Obviously, Nintendo's had a number of really good runs. And then they released the Virtual Boy. Someone said Nostalgia Goggles. Yeah, some of it. Some of it holds up great, though. Uh, Capcom has had some... Some really good, um, multiple release amazing games. Shut tight. Yeah. So you can't, you can't go in there, but you can just jump off. Yeah, Blizzard. Uh, Valve. I mean, again, Square was releasing a lot, though. <clears throat> From the, uh, Super Nintendo to the fucking PlayStation 1 and even PlayStation 2. There probably were a few missteps, but Square was on a roll. Like, they, they definitely released some of my favorite games of all time in that period. I want to see Magus's Big Milkers. Uh, mods, can you mod that person? This is the Black Omen, and it was the Ocean Palace, and now it's... weird. Fools, haven't you learned your lesson? We are immortal. We shall live forever with Lavos, who devours this planet even as he sleeps. Within 999 years, he'll become the ruler of this world. The Black Omen is a path which leads to Lavos. It is a shrine which provides us with limitless power. As long as the Mighty One reigns, your dreams are hopeless. There's some real fucked up enemy designs in the Black Omen. You should sacrifice yourself to the Mighty Lavos. <laughs> yeah, this thing's weird. It's like, um... It's like an organic vacuum. And it's got, like, um, a breathing sack. Okay, I wasn't sure if that would work. It, it worked, uh, pretty well. 
You know what? We're already doing- our regular attacks are doing really well. Especially if we're gonna hit crits like that. I like having Magus in the party, and I do want to get him all of his skills. But, um, he, he doesn't play well with people. There's a couple accessories, I've talked about this before, but... There are a couple of accessories that you can equip to have him do triple techs with people. I think Magus' glove is loose. Uh, yeah. Well, if you aren't here for pre-stream, or you're just watching this on YouTube... I found this from like 20 years ago. This is Magus recreated in Soul Calibur 3. I guess I printed it out so I could get all the coordinates and make Magus. I don't remember if I did. And Queen Zeal mentioned a shrine to Lavos. Well, here's my shrine to Chrono Trigger, including the cartridge that I found, my original one from 25 years ago. 30 years ago, 29 years ago. Oh my god. So that's for the benefit of the full sauce viewers who didn't see that. Also, some chat member, um... Oh, so, so she says bought me that wood carving of the box art as a, a gift for, like, my birthday, I think it was. So thank you, she says. I appreciate you. Um... The figures someone had Someone, I forget who they were, I mentioned it on stream and I mentioned their name some time ago. They didn't need them anymore. Their cat did chew the top of Magus's scythe. That's okay. You can kind of, you can kind of see it. You, you can kind of see it. <laughs> um, ironic. And, uh, yeah, I like- I like them a lot, and I really wanted those when they first released, but for some reason, I didn't get them. So thank you so much once again, chat member, if you're watching. And, uh, a couple of those other things, like the pin, and that big box art, you could hang that, like, on the wall or something. I got that at a convention. Um, I don't remember which one. Probably too many games. Vinny, are you satisfied with your legacy? What the fuck kind of question is <laughs> uh. My legacy will be Picard's Goon Cave. That bit is my legacy. Oh, I gave them health. Oh yes, in the academy I had a spectacular Goon Cave. Okay, we're, we're playing a little dangerous here. Well, I'm still writing my legacy, I, I would imagine. I'm still- I'm still, um... ...creating things, and, uh, making terrible memes. And, uh, writing new songs, and, yeah, so, you know. Whatever it is, as long as I'm happy while I'm alive, I'm happy with that. And I'm pretty... ...somewhat happy. I have uh, an unhappy disposition at times, but I definitely consider myself to be happier than I've ever been in a lot of ways. Um, so yeah, I'm doing okay. And when I'm dead, who gives a shit? Fuck the legacy at that point. Arguably, Grey Leno is your legacy. You put the most effort into it. What a rotten soul he is.
Well, I'm trying to um, make more Bray Leno. So don't worry about that. Like, his legacy will be solid. <laughs> they call him Loathsome Leno. <laughs> Solid like a constipation turd. That thing. Okay. Well, there's my legacy there. Um. So I'll tell you what. We're gonna get off the topic of Gray Leno, and we're gonna talk more about the Black Omen. It is funny, though, because these Chrono Trigger streams are like a time capsule. I've said that at the beginning, but it's true, because four years ago, Grey Leno didn't exist. He didn't. And now he's, like, as popular as uh, Johnny, Johnny TikTok. Crazy how popular he is. So, if you check in, like, say, every four years, whenever I do my Chrono Trigger stuff, which, who knows, I might do it five years from now, I might do it four, Whenever I do another Chrono Trigger stream, God willing, I say that, you know, could be, um, a giant baby floating around in a tub of marmalade. I don't know what's up there. I don't know what's out there. Whatever's out there, if I'm still around, then I'll tell you this. Maybe there will be Grey Leno 2 by then. But this is a good game to to play to remind me of many things from my past and why I love this game so much and why I like sci-fi stories in general. And uh, this game, along with Final Fantasy VII and VI, helped like solidify my taste in music, even. So it's nice to check back in every couple of years and see where I'm at and and see where the how the game, you know, how it's grown with me, if, if that's possible. And I'll tell you what, this playthrough has proven to me that Chrono Trigger is as solid as it's ever been. I don't get bored, and I, I still uh, enjoy the story and the characters and the music and everything just as much. Like a constipation turd, right, yep, mm-hmm, or, yep. Panels don't respawn can be charmed for speed tabs. Oh, you're right about that. I forgot. We gotta get, um, Big Booty Ayla. Hang on. She's got her charm top on. Okay. Oh, actually, that's Big Booty Marl, I should say. Marl's the one who smacks it. Speed tab. Ayla just used her sexual, um, <laughs> outfit and assets to get, uh, speed. And that's not really, I'm not lying, it, it just happened in the game. It just happened in the game. Those panels always look like Samus to me. Well, considering I'm also playing a Metroid game tonight, yeah. I'll take it. I can see it. Three D attack. Oh shit, chat! You want to see some good graphics? I'm gonna show you really good graphics. Okay, who needs the speed? Uh, frog. 
is gonna probably be in the party. Frog could use some speed. Double, double speed for Frog. Okay, these enemies actually... I was gonna use the 3D attack, but um, I forgot these enemies are... big XP, uh, XP and um, tech points. But they're like the rubble in that you can miss them very, very easily, and they run away very quickly. Oh, you bastard. Come on now. Come on! There we go. You can't charm them, because they lock your, your ab abilities. Oh wait, no, they didn't give tech points. Oh, we don't need any tech points. This party is totally full on tech points. Alright, we need Magus back. We'll use the 3D attack on another enemy. I like the hi-hat in my right ear. No, don't do that. Come on, we can get it. We can get it. Come on, come on, Chrono. Corno. <laughs> Cornhole. <laughs> Get it. Frog got it. Very nice frog. Yes, Chrono! Good attack. What are your thoughts on a miss emote? I think that would be a great emote. Six twenty seven needed for dark matter. Chat, which okay, I have a couple rocks. I have the blue rock and I have the black rock. What parties are these? I don't know. Well, they're both Magus. I don't know the full party. Does anyone? Off the top of their head? I wish it would say... Omega Flare is Robo, Magus, and Luca. Let's try that. We also... This party could use the experience points, too. Dark Eternal is Magus, Marl, and Luca. Okay, WOW, Luca! No! Ah, oh, that was bad luck. We need some jokers to multiply those numbers. guys have higher evasions than the other TP guys.
been thoughts on doing Chrono Trigger streams like a monthly thing, like once a month, a different ending. Uh, that's definitely a good way to make me not like the game as much. I think that's, that's just too much. I know that there's, you know, there's like 15 different endings or whatever, and... Some of them are for laughs, some of them are kind of cool, but... I also don't necessarily... I've seen all of them, and, uh, the truth is, they don't give me any more of an experience out of the game than the ending that I usually get. Crimson Echoes, when? Uh, Crimson Echoes actually suck. I, I really didn't like it very much. It's very, very poorly balanced. And, uh, didn't like it. Here's what happened. I played it when it was called Flames of Eternity. Another team took it over. And I really, really tried. And... It just frustrated me. Like, the first hour and a half of the game was frustrating. The writing was weird. It didn't- it didn't do anything for me. We're gonna do one more round of this, and then we'll keep moving. Lavos Awakening is a fantastic mod that demands you use every character setup to win. That doesn't sound appealing to me because I don't play Chrono Trigger for the gameplay. I, I, just, to be honest, like, I don't need hard Chrono Trigger. And, and I know that that's fine for some people, like, RPG battle systems are fun if you get into them. But, um... I guess it's not the, like, it's probably the third or fourth down the list of why I play this. So, when you have, like, ball-blistering difficulty, you combine that with, you know, maybe a mediocre attempt at a follow-up to, st to the story, it doesn't work for me. I say that, of course, as the expert. I have the uh, Chrono Trigger Shrine, as you've seen. Crimson Echoes is a better story, but yes, it's hard. Dub love. Dub love bomb. I thought I equipped the rock. Oh, Luca needs flair. That's right. Okay. Let's get flair. I'll do the 3D attack uh, soon. We're gonna we're gonna work towards that. Right now, I'm trying to get um, Omega Flare. I want to see what it looks like. This place really does seem like the Gormless Freak Castle. It, it is. Yeah, it is. It's many years of Lavos's corruption. I think. I, I don't know. I'm just making that up. <laughs> I don't know why they look so weird. They're like aliens. Okay, it's gonna be a little while, um, with Luca. I, I, I mean, if you- if chat is willing to be patient, we can just keep trying this. And the, the big one doesn't give the, uh, tech points. It's not really worth killing him. trying to grind some orbs in peace. I 
I have the patience of a toddler, Vincent. Yeah, me too. Most times. I say that, and I can, you know, sit through a fucking four-hour movie, if it's a good one. It's not really... ...the utmost, um, display of patience, that, but, yeah. I would say the phone lowered my patience, but I don't know if that's true. Did I just always not have patience? Finding some of my old notebooks made me realize something. I... I didn't pay attention in class for stuff I wasn't interested in. I wrote notes, but I didn't absorb. Like, I probably got some of the information, and I know some of my notebooks had way more drawings in them. But... I mean, I was, like, pretty okay at, at school. I definitely was better when I was younger, and then as I got older and more... ...impatient and rebellious, I, I just kind of stopped paying as much attention, I suppose. But early on, I was, I was good. Did you have- do you have ADHD? I don't know, when you were a kid, in the late 80s, early 90s, if you did have that, they would just say, Ah, he's a little weird, he's fine. And then I think they got to a point where it was like, Oh, no, no, no. It's definitely prescribed, definitely prescribed. And maybe things have evened out, I don't know, but I- I, um, I remember... Just, I was not, um, I just wanted to get home and play Zelda. I don't know. Like, that doesn't sound too bad to me. Remember when I said, um, you don't have to grind in Chrono Trigger very much? Well, the thing is, you don't. This is purely optional, just because I want to see what those skills look like. And Luca is not doing the thing. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. But yeah, I mean, if I'm invested in something, I pay very much attention. And Robo's dead. I know it's funny to call, like, weird little things freaks, but these are truly freaks. In fact, Aren't they called, like, mutants at one point? Like, the other, earlier version of them? Hell yeah. Oh yeah, look at that! That was crazy! Chat, stop trying to psychoanalyze the streamer, y'all are weird. Yeah, you don't need to, because, I mean, you'll, you'll never get it right. You may think you know, but I also say Spin on the internet. And, um, I promise you I don't say Spin very much in real life. So, I mean, psychoanalyze away, but 
you're you're um you know you're watching the the clown penis man. <laughs> Oh, wait, this is the wrong party. I wanted to show 3D attack. Alright, well, let's kill these freaks. Someone said, what's the difference between empathizing and psychoanalyzing? I think when it's like, oh, I know he has this, I just know it. Versus, maybe he does. Maybe I don't know this guy that well. I think that's it. I'm not sure. One is pretentious, the other is humble. Maybe. Well, whatever the case is, you know, there's there's some level of... Um, I understand that people are just trying to figure out themselves, and then they kind of see other people in themselves. There's also that aspect. But yeah, I'm probably... I'm probably just some weird amalgamation of stream personality I'm pretty close to who I am, but I'm still not 100%. Because I'm live on a stream, you know? I'm, like, in real life, I'm not talking about my memes, you know? But, yeah. I've seen it all by now to a large degree, and I'm just happy to be here. Happy to keep streaming. And, uh happy people are interested in what I do. So, that's kind of where I'm at right now with it. As long as people are respectful, that's all I need. Okay, we have the, um, Half-Life slash Akira slash Metal Gear Solid elevator now. And we're going to use 3D attack. So this I really like because these are just reskins of Luca's fucking karaoke robot. <laughs> Again, no idea why. Like, why is this specific design here in the place of hatred and Magus- uh, sorry, Lavos's weird alien boogers? But that's 3D attack. Ruminator. Wait, don't I have a song called Ruminator? I think I do. You would know? <laughs> Sometimes I remember these things. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I do. No, it's an old one. That attack didn't look very 3D, to be honest. Well, you know, just pretend. again. I think Marl is the only party member that doesn't have all their skills. I 
think you need her final skill for Dark Eternal, sadly. Oh. Well. I don't think we'll be seeing that. Damn it. All right. So now we have, um... We have a skill that I want to take a look at with Luca and Ayla. But, uh, yeah, Marl is probably... It's just Life 2, which is really, really good, by the way. But that's a little ways off. No, wait, what's the... Oh, they have to do one battle together before they can, uh... Unlock the thing. Any cool dreams recently? Um... I dream, uh, sometimes I dream songs, but no weird dreams. I stopped taking melatonin. The reason this chat member is asking because is because there's a video, for those that don't know, that was edited by my editors. I think... Kelu? Um... Peku. Sorry, why did I say that wrong? Gatling Kick. And it was, uh, basically my dream journal from the years of, like, me just saying what my dreams were. So... I don't remember them. I remember a couple. And now they're all archived for some reason. What a weird life I live. Um, I don't, in fact, have any new specific dreams. However, I did get... I'm not kidding. In my notes, the same note app I was using for the dreams, I have the words Vagina Oblongata. And I... I think that was from a dream. I forgot about it entirely, but it's written in there, and 6.13 a.m. So clearly, clearly I woke up in the middle of the night, went into my phone, wrote Vagina Oblongata, and then went back to bed. So... Yeah. Did you spell it right? Yeah, it looks like it. Nice move. Charm Mega Elixirs off of those fellows. Apparently, I can use Dark Eternal. Okay. Fire World Double Tech is the one you want. I mean, I have the party that I like. So I'm not really that. Uh, gutted over it. Uh, which party is it for Dark Eternal again? It's Magus, Marl, and... Who? Was it... Fro Frog? Luca? Put a sticky note on your monitor. I used to do that. Okay, you want to see a real 3D attack? 
fuck, we can't do it right now. It's the one enemy I can't use moves on. We had a good thing, Walter. And now you can't use your moves, you stupid son of a bitch! Mike, listen. Listen, Mike. We're not done here. Mike. Come on, Walter. You and your pride, huh? Your stupid pride, Walter. You and your pride, Douglas. And your ego, Douglas. Did you ever get the rock for Poyozo dance? No. I know where it is, I just forgot to get it. I could get it before I finish the game. A really cool move now. Dark Eternal. Not Eternal Darkness. Whoa, 3D. It almost doesn't even make sense how that actually damages an enemy, but it's magic, so we just go with it. That weird robot on the left there that I just killed. I really like its design. It has one arm, has a spiked ball, or one appendage or whatever it is, has a spiked ball, the other has like a cannon. Oh, we're at the halfway point of this. This is more or less the final dungeon in the game. you do shop Got a lot of great stuff what are you doing here what are you doing here take a seat why are you here i don't know why it's here this is like not a good place for you new let's just chat these just don't sell too well ho ho <laughs> three of you and in a place like this you've got a long journey ahead of you so Please rest a while. If you wish to awaken from this dream, there probably is a way. What, else, what is up with the lore behind the sentient blueberries? Did you ever watch Willy Wonka? Or did you ever go to some weird, like, meth factory in Scotland? Hubster. Wow, 
Why Lucas die? Oh no. Not really attacking, is it? That is good. That is good. No, it's not! Oh! Okay, we gotta figure something out here. I don't remember how to beat Tupster. I don't. I also have a haste helm. I should put that on someone. God damn. Vinny, thoughts on Cerveza Cristal? A uh, dead meme in a week. Kind of oh, haste protect. All right, so Marl is just going to heal. And Magus and Luca are just gonna shoot. Oh. Did the game. Did the game. Marl could really use that. Tubster, the guy from the game's cover. Uh, no. No, that was Heckran. The cover is actually a beta screenshot that was turned into the cover art. But it gets, like, three details wrong. Because, again, it was like, you know, the game wasn't done yet. It's like Marl using fire on the cover. It, yeah, it's a little insane. But, um... Those were reskins of Hackbrand, so you were... Yeah, you're pretty much on the right track there. Uh... Frog also crouching when he's dead. Oh yeah, that's true, that was another misinterpretation. I will say, however many details it gets wrong... I kind of think it's a great cover. Like, Chrono's wearing a scarf. For some reason, I guess because it's cold out, uh, Marl is wearing an outfit she never wears. But it's it's a great. I don't know. Look, just looking at it, I really like it. snow gear because they're in a snowy area. Oh, man, what have I done? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that makes sense.
it doesn't happen in the game, is really all I'm trying to say, but it is, yeah, that, that is what happens. Uh, do I not have, where's Marl's charm? Cure 2, Ice 2, Haste, Cure, Ice, what? I thought she had a charm ability. Or is it only a double tech? Oh, right, okay. Charm is just this game's steel. Vinny, what's your favorite card in poker? <laughs> uh, the Ace of Spades is a great card because it sounds good. It's an ace, and ace cards are great. So I like that one. What is the Zodiac cape anyway? I don't remember. Oh. Oh, that's, that's really, really good. I don't know if I like it better than absorbing blue. Uh, one-eyed jacks are fun. There's two of them. When I used to play cards with my family, we used to do one-eyed jacks wild. I'm gonna go Zodiac Cape on Marl. How does one go about submitting an emote? Uh, you can use the Buru, which I don't really use very much other than to just browse it and take a look once in a while. But I do, there is an emote submission form there. You could also email it at the Vine Sauce contact page. And uh, those are the two best ways. Come on. Which final dungeon is your favorite? I kind of like... Um, the Final Fantasy IX one is weird. It's, it's really good. It's fucking weird. Earthbound is pretty amazing. Yeah, Memoria is great. Earthbound has a really good final dungeon, if you want to consider it a dungeon. from Final Fantasy VIII is good. It's great music. Luca's death pose is weird. <laughs> If you really look at it, it's fucking bizarre. It's almost Peter Griffin Family Guy death pose, but it's even, like, more limbs in the wrong spots. Please kill. These enemies are... I don't know if you can use magic on them. Why is Marl the tankiest party member? I have uh, an accessory that gives her a bunch of extra HP.
Yeah, you know what? We will try another element on them. Let's give it a shot. Oh, fireworks. God damn it. Might as well have your healer be your tank. Good strat. Yeah, that, that tends to make sense to me. Okay. So, uh, after using this party for a little while... It was fun. Now, now we can, you know, <laughs> use Frog and Chrono again. We'll get Robo in there for a little bit. Because Robo... Robo could use a little bit of love. He's an Oreo. Did anyone try those fucking Target Oreos? They're like cosmic Oreos. Pop Rocks ones? Wait a minute. There's Pop Rocks in there? That sounds awful. They're okay? It's fun. Vinny, I spent $30,000 on therapy trying to block that shit out. It has an interesting mouthfeel. Interesting mouthfeel is, um, the headliner, and the band on after them is Vagina Oblongata. So I think that's kind of cool. That's like a really good, really good double feature. Yeah, it's, it, there's no denying this is a very, very long dungeon. It does prep you for Lavos pretty nicely, though. Oh, no, not you again. Well, Robo might have some physical attacks. Like, Uzi Punch. I think that'll work. Yeah, that was great. Vinny, have you seen Manos and the Hands of Fate? Or Manos, the Hands of Fate? That movie is such a giant piece of shit. Love it. That's like one of um, the more entertaining bad movies, like when Troll 2 was becoming more of a thing. Manos in the Hands of Fate also started getting a little more popular. I think um, Mystery Science Theater might have had something to do with that, I'm not sure. But it it's a tough movie to watch at times because it's so incompetently made. But it's, it's pretty fucking hilarious.
Boy, they're just throwing speed tabs at me. Half the movie is just boring family driving around having a pointless chat. Yeah, that's the thing. When it's funny, it's really funny. If it was like, if you could just cut together the funny moments, you don't need to watch the whole movie. Whereas Troll 2, I would argue, you should watch the whole movie. Because it's really stupid. And... Like, seeing everything unfold and get, like, kind of more insane... ...is... Honestly, it's great. And I love watching people's reaction... ...to that movie. It's the same for The Room. You could watch a best of... ...and still have a great time with it, but if you watch the whole movie... ...you're gonna get even more out of it, I think. But Manos in the Hands of Fate, I remember, yeah, there were a lot of boring moments in that. When, um, the good-bad movie thing was- was becoming more known, like, again, Troll 2. The Room, like, 15 years ago-ish. I was, like, going to- I think it was called J&S in Manhattan, not far from Broadway. And they had, like, a DVD basement, and they had so many, so many movies, and, and obscure movies that got DVD releases. It was weird. And I just looked for the worst-sounding shit I could buy. And I bought a, a bunch of it. I love these alien designs, they're so fucked up. Someone said, that sounds hilarious. Yeah, it was a, a funny joke I played on myself, because the movies were fucking unwatchable and not funny. I would have bad movie night, and I'd have my friends over and be like, Oh, we're gonna watch this this crazy movie, Blood Beast Eats Cock. And then we're watching it, and it's just like, Ugh, can we play Mario Party instead? There was a Blood Beast movie. There was some... awful movie about a Blood Beast. I don't know, it was fucking terrible, and I stopped... We stopped watching it, like, 35 minutes in, so that that's happened plenty. Night of the Blood Beast? Yeah, that might have been it. Uh, Zardoz, I remember... That's, like, kind of a weird movie because it's in between interesting and bad movie, and also kind of somewhat significant because of Sean Connery in a red diaper, but also because there's some weird themes in it, like, the gun is good, the penis is evil. So, Zardoz is another one of those movies that... It's like, oh, I'll invite people over, we'll watch Zardoz. Bored to fucking tears. It entices you! Cause there's that- okay, there's a YouTube video that was going around of... a giant floating head... saying, the gun is good, the penis is evil, and spitting guns out. And a bunch of people, including Sean Connery in a diaper, I don't know if he was there, but they get the guns and they start shooting. And it's like a weird sci-fi movie, and they're trying to, like, maybe talk about some themes? But the movie was so dreadfully boring, and most of the time very visually uninteresting, that my friends started talking amongst themselves, and uh, I could tell that it was not a hit. Oh, Polkasari, I've seen that one. That's like a, yeah, Korean, um... North Korean Godzilla. It was made in North Korea by kidnapping one of the creators of Godzilla, holding them hostage to make pro-communist kaiju film. Yeah. Yes. That movie's fucking crazy. They kidnapped <laughs> the dude. Yeah, it's nuts. But, um, the problem with bad movies is that you get really spoiled by The Room, by Troll 2, by Neil Breen now. Now Neil Breen is a legend. Like, Cool Cat. You, you hear about these films, you watch them, and you're like, surely there must be every bad movie is funny. And, no. There, there are some that are just painful. Uh-oh. Have you seen Birdemic? I have, yeah. Ooh. 
someone said there's a theory that the mutants inside the Black Omen are actually, um... Inhabitants of Zeal that wanted to live forever and get eternal life, but they mutated. That actually weirdly makes sense. I mean, it might- it makes sense, but I'm not gonna say for sure that's what it is. Here it is again. This is a strong team. Never mind. Yeah, I was sadly mistaken. This mutant, though, uh, yeah, no, the reason we're not doing damage is because the mutant is probably strong to physical attacks. I remember this boss in Chrono Trigger Plus where it could glitched and can only be killed with a crit. I- see, I don't remember a lot of Chrono Trigger Plus, and maybe it's for the best. There were some good things. There were definitely good things, but most of it was just like... I don't know what I was expecting. Ah, shit. Oh, that hack- whoa, oh! One of those rare instances where I was wearing the right armor for that. Just for fun. There's Dino Tail. <laughs> but Lucas, uh, sorry, Ayla's health is too high, so it sucks. I'm afraid to use a water move, and... Uh, I, I don't know, I feel like it might be a problem. I'll try Spire, hang on. Actually, no, Frog? Frog. Now's the time. This is your only chance, buddy. You got one HP. Use your frog. Big frog. This may be the only time this move has ever been useful in my life. Wow. Let me take that back. Even Frog seems disappointed. Frog is looking directly at the camera right now. Like, what were you expecting?
it resists physical. I, I, yeah. I, I guess it's not a water-based frog. It's fine. I guess it, it is frog squash. Ayla is like the worst party member for this fight. If physical hits don't do any damage. Uh, Magus would have been better, yeah. You know what? We can charm. May as well do that. Wall ring. All right. I am the wall ring. I'm gonna use those magic tabs on Magus. And you know what? Speed tab as well. He he needs the most help, truthfully. Now everyone here has the same speed. Um the reason I say he needs help is because he, he's such a, a loner that he kind of fucks up every party he's in. Just like how he would act at a real party. Standing in the corner. Who's that weirdo in the corner? Oh, that's Magus. He just keeps talking about the Reaper. Yeah. The Reaper? Yeah, like, you know that Blue Oyster Cult song? Yeah. Brings the whole mood down. What is he doing over there? Just standing against the wall? Speaking in two-word sentences? Who invited this guy? That's the thing! I don't know! I don't know who invites him! But he always knows where the party is! Keeps saying he's looking for his sister. He's gotta drive her home. That's me in the corner. That's me in the spotlight. Losing my religion. Night after night. Trying to keep up with you. But I don't know if I could do it. Oh no. I said too much. What? Sorry, what, what are you talking about? I haven't said enough. Let me tell you again, from the beginning. Life is bigger. Bigger than you. Me. You are not me. I'm surprised Shatner never covered losing my religion. It's like the perfect lyrics for a Shatner interpretation. Back my bags. Late night, brief light. Every, like, five years, someone, like, comes around to, uh, 
repost the Shatner doing Rocket Man, and they're like, I can't believe this is real. And then I realized something. Even though I've seen it like a hundred times, I still can't believe it's real. You know, Spock did a whole album in the 70s. His name, okay, first of all, his name isn't Spock, all right? Have more respect. His name is Mr. Spock. And uh, I am aware of the Bilbo Baggins song, the classic Bilbo Baggins song. Bilbo, Bilbo Baggins, the bravest little hobbit of them all. Or greatest. Oh, yes, heal them. I knew that that was the wrong move and I used it anyway. What was, why did I do that? Opinion on David Bowie's The Laughing Gnome. Um, critics everywhere are saying it's shit to fucking shit. Why do I keep healing them? I don't know. <laughs> I thought they're yellow, so they're... I don't know, I keep getting confused. I get them confused with a different enemy, chat. <laughs> and, I, like, my brain is... Not processing while I'm talking about hobbits, I don't know. You can get Nova armor from them? I, I can't unless M Magus pulls his trousers down. Remember, you can charm Zeal's right hand in her face for prism helms and prism dresses. If I do that, though, then that means maybe Frog isn't in the party. Because I want Magus to have the dialogue and, and to have the satisfaction. It's like in Barry Lyndon, they demand satisfaction. I want Lava, uh, Magus to have his satisfaction. I also technically don't need more prism stuff. You know, I don't remember. Does Luminaire work on these guys? I don't know. Could leave Chrono out of the party. Well, then how will we Luminaire? can't run away. These have the speed tabs. I forgot there were more of these motherfuckers. This is why Ayla is so good to have in the party here.
let her go through a second time. I kind of just don't feel like we're going to be any better prepared for Lavos. Whether we do it another time or get more speed tabs or prism helms, like... This current configuration with some leveling is going to be just fine. There was one. We got this, we got this. Triforce. It's a long dungeon, chat. Testing something. I think pop is magic only. Yep. Oh, it sucks life from the bottom one. That's not even working. I hate that life shaver so much, goddamn. Fuck it. <clears throat> Just gonna ping pong back and forth between uh, Magus and Chrono's best spells. Alright, now what do we do with this freak? remember what party that was. That was, um... I think that's... <clears throat> uh -huh. ah! Poyozo dance? Yeah, I think it's Bozo. Bozo dance. This is a fun one. Chat, I think you'll enjoy this triple tech. Yep, 
just summons a baby Lavos. This is a bad fight for it. Uh, I almost don't think this is a good idea to use it, but just to see it. Yes, Marl just slaps her bottom. And then a little Poyozo doll <laughs> shows up. That's a lot of damage. Hell yeah, eat shit. Oh, Ayla doesn't have any more magic. Shit, okay. Alright, we got problems here. Nice. Luka does not have a lot of abilities that target one specific enemy. You don't want to hit the shell at all. That's what I'm talking about. That's the good shit. Luca's gun can do crazy damage once in a while, so that's that's what we were looking for. Wow, good job, Marl. It really is Marl sauce. Steal haste helm from either the shell or the head, I can't remember. I, I always forget to steal in video games. Not just this game, like every fucking video game, I always forget that there's a steal function. Alright, I have to figure out what I want to do here, so... You know what? No. What? Wait, that can happen? Okay, that's a brand new thing. Again, I've never seen in this game. So, normally you can't run away from those enemies. I noticed just now that you could run away for some reason. That's brand new to me. I, I mean, this playthrough has been, uh, like, full of, like, new discoveries for me. But, um, yeah, if I had Ayla in the party, I could have stolen more speed tabs. <laughs> Queen Zeal has her very own clono. Behold, my pretties. 
destiny in its most brutal form. All the dreams that might have been. All the happiness and sorrow you might have experienced. Gone forever. For you, there will be no tomorrow. The dark omen transcends time and space, waiting for Lavos to awaken. Destiny has led you here, and here you shall rest forever. Unless you could defeat me and smash the omen. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, that was weird. Uh, come, dear friends. Perhaps I can persuade Lavos to share his dreams with you. Did I say dreams? I meant his eternal nightmare. Awful move. What did she just do to Frog? Uh, she tried to turn him into a prince. If she can survive that exact thing, then, yeah, she's, she's a baller. I mean, keep in mind, Magus is literally fighting his mother right now. And him being an optional character, it's still a shame that... You know, he doesn't get any additional... Like, before the fight, he should be saying stuff, I feel. Like, I don't know. That's why, like... As much as I'm very skeptical of a Chrono Trigger remake, I do see room for some additional development. I could see them, like, in the same way when you're playing Final Fantasy VII uh, Rebirth. Love it or hate it, there's some genuinely good character moments, and the characters do feel like the characters to me. And it's really nice to have that. So, would be nice to have that here, too. Ah, my powers don't seem to work here. Wait, I'll simply toss you into the Mammon Machine. You'll be one with the Omen. Lavos. And me! good way to do this is to use Frog, because he's got the thing that, you know, from the story. The knife. It's the Masamune. Nice to get a little retribution here after. Oh, oops. That might be a problem. That attack. No, that's not too bad.
I like how it clarifies that the Mammon machine is standing still. It, it's... Where's it going? Chat member, I do believe Dune Messiah can be done in one movie. It would need modifications like they did with part two, but it could be done in one movie. It should be a trilogy. There's an angry Mario turnip on its stomach. Oh yeah. Yes, but money? Yeah, well, Denis Villeneuve is not that kind of dude. I think he, he's got enough stock in Hollywood now where he can just do whatever the fuck he wants. And I feel like he, he wants it to be a trilogy and no more. And if he doesn't do the movie, the movie's not getting done. Oh yeah, this fight is awful. There just, just nothing happens. It's almost like a plot fight, but you know, it's really not even... Yeah, again, the Black Omen is too long. I, I like it, I love the music, and I think it's weird, the enemies are weird. This is cool as fuck. But yeah, it's, it's a, it's a long-ass dungeon. This is very memorable, however. You cretins. I plan to live with Lavos and control the universe forever. You will not get in my way! Idiots. Nothing can live forever. Zeal, a pitiful woman duped by Lavos. I, myself, will bring an end to all of this. Prophet! You are doomed. I haven't forgotten what you did at the Ocean Palace. You will now forfeit your life. Note she calls him Prophet, and not like, Hey, son! Either she doesn't know, or doesn't give a shit? I don't, I don't know. It's, uh, it's a little weird. She's too far gone. Yeah, but also Magus, I think, there's a part of him that completely left that life behind. Mostly. Oh god. Also, yeah, this might be one of the, the ultimate hand bosses in video game history. And I completely fucked the fight up already. It's salvageable. You're not supposed to use Mega Elixirs, though. What if you need those? We will. We're gonna need them here, too. But I'm the say I always... Well, as you know, as I've said a thousand times in every RPG playthrough, I fucking never use Elixirs, because I'm like, Oh, I might need it. I'll be on the last boss of the game.
and I don't use it. Also, having Magus in your party here gives you this specific music. So, it, I mean, it's, a, it's not... To me, it's kind of not enough. Playing it all these years later, I'm like, oh yeah, there could be more story here, or just a couple extra lines or something. But... You at least get acknowledgement, you get something unique, and you get Magus's music. That's- that's very fucking scary. Good. Ending 11 is all Magus. Magus with Lavos. Yep. I have vague recollection of that ending. What did you think about the Xbox Partner Showcase? I, I didn't watch it. I, I don't have an Xbox Series X. I, I, uh, I have Windows PC. But, uh, yeah, I was- I was out most of the day, and then I cooked, and I didn't have time to watch it. Was it- Let's just say this- I didn't hear of anything that was particularly, like, mind-blowing, was there? New Mario, someone just said, oh. Not anything you'd be interested in. Okay. Well, I didn't watch it. If there was anything, I would watch it. And I obviously have a PC that can play most of these games, which I'm very, you know, happy about, that I don't need to buy an Xbox Series X. Because otherwise, how would I enjoy Starfield? Otherwise, you know. Done. But, I mean, whatever's going on in the game industry, if it's good, and the games are good, I'm happy. So... How dare you insects come after me! Oh, almighty Lavos, lend me your power! Lavos awakens. Compared with him, you are like germs. I, I shall obtain immortality. Now, can you do the epoch? ending. Like, where you ram the Epoch into Lavos after doing this, or would I have had to do that first? The Epoch, whatever. Nope. Okay, never mind then. You can still ram into him.
you can ram into him, but why do it? I just think it looks cool. You can leave after phase one. But does it still ram? I don't think you can. Well... You can still ram after this. I want to at least show it and then go back and not have the fucking cool time ship destroyed. But yeah, if you... If you... Okay, you have the option of literally destroying the Epoch. And then you just skip all of this. You don't have to do this fight at all. Because... It... Takes it with it. There's like so many different ways to approach this fight, it's kind of cool. It does change the ending, yeah. So what it's doing now is emulating all the bosses. And you know what? It does so while retaining their exact amount of HP. So most of these, like, bosses that you fight, again, it's, it's almost like chump battles. But it's cool, though. And it's a good way to revisit some of the battles and, you know, see how much more powerful you've gotten since then. I don't know if it implies that Lavos is connected to all of these enemies, because, I mean, some of them are just... ...you know, robots. But maybe. love being able to, like, two-shot an old enemy. You could argue this is the same as Live Alive ending boss rush. Oh, Dio. Why does Lavos have pussy toes? R really, really good decision to stream my favorite game. Really good decision. They're just Lavos toes, chat. They're just Lavos toes. How does it tie into the Pool of Insanity? They're fighting on the Pool of Insanity. It, it, that is the Pool of Insanity right there. You're witnessing it. I kind of didn't really need to use that much lightning. Next. Rust Tyranno? No, Magus himself. 
Yeah, that's why I don't think there's necessarily... Well, I'm sure... Is Magus's magic connected to Lavos's magic? All magic is. Well, then there you go. I knew the answer to that question, and yet I still... said the thing out loud. A little, little awkward that its head just disconnects like that, huh? His, uh, his head come off. Having Magus in the party to fight against Magus is actually very good. Tyranno. Tyranno? Azula of the Reptites uses telekinetic powers. Isn't that magic? Yeah, and has it even before Lavos crashes to the planet. That's true. It's just advanced brain power. I guess that's kind of magical in and of itself, no? Magic is just science we don't understand. Azula read 10 library books a day to get it. I have increased the size of my cranium by 1.5% every day while in that library in order to confuse and fool people into thinking I'm a Megamind. The truth is, this plan makes me a Megamind. Oh, my cranium's quite massive. And my bush is quite hairy. It's an Adam Sandler bit from his CD. There's a science teacher. I didn't just pull that out of my ass, chat. That's a real bit. It's a... <laughs> kind of stupid, but it was on his CD. Many, many years ago. That's bullshit, but I believe you. Um, Adam Sandler, what was it? It's not bullshit, I had that CD. Yeah, science teacher. Oh, no, 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 was it, um... Assistant principal. It's so stupid. I don't even know why I want to show you this. Pissing that guy's fucking gas <laughs> the, Oh, is and the now a buffoon? Shit! That's understandable. 
Well, I enjoyed meeting you, and we'll be sending you our decision by the end of the month. I bet you got really hairy balls! Yes, it's a veritable forest down there. Bye-bye. Note that was, um, that's close enough. Uh, that was Conan O'Brien. That was Conan's voice. Rotten bit, it's a very rotten bit, yeah. Vinny, I went to the bathroom and then heard that with zero context. Good. Vinny, you should try being funny for a change. Oh yeah, who's funnier? The funny or the one who watches the funny? This guy's watching an unfunny streamer. What a clown. Are you excited for the Dune TV show? I seem to have forgotten that there was a Dune TV show actually being made. They're making Dune babies? Oh, like uh, Muppet Babies? I like that show. Alright, cool. Yeah, if it's like Muppet Babies, then I, I guess I'll watch it. Muppet, like Duncan, Idaho. It's called How You Doin'. No, 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 no. How You Doin' is a different thing entirely. You know what How You Doin' is? It's a sitcom. How You Doin' is like, um... What's that terrible show? Um... One of the terrible shows. This is the true form of Lavos, by the way, now. No, I'm- the- the one with the nerd stuff. The one that's terrible. That's like, um... Big Bang Theory, there you go. Wow, it's amazing how many people got that from that one clue. Yeah. It couldn't have been that terrible. A lot of people watched it. I've never seen an episode of that. I haven't. So I don't know, maybe it's great. Vinny, my family unironically used to watch it despite me. <laughs> Oh, your family hates you, huh? It's another one of those things that... It's just nerd culture distilled, from what I understand, but... It's a thing that gets a reputation as being unfunny and becomes the internet's punching bag, and I have no idea what it even is, because I've never seen it. That's like the time Mr. Spock beamed me up. Isn't that right, Will Wheaton? That's what I think it is, and I don't even- I don't even know if it is. Anyway, that must feel good for Magus, because that's what he tried to do earlier in the game, if you remember, and he couldn't. Can it be over? It ain't over yet. We'll get to the bottom of this, Lavos. Yep, you actually go inside the thing. Is this is creepy. It's worse than Magus's place. 
my favorite line. <laughs> my favorite line while they're standing next to each other. No turning back now. Anyway, we're going to turn back. Because I just want to show you a little bonus cutscene that I think is really cool. Also, that heart beating is really interesting. That scared me a lot as a kid. Chrono, be they certain! Fight. This battle leadeth... Oh, sorry. This battle leadeth nowhere! We must use the Epoch to break through! You really think this is going to work? We haveth no choice. We must break through. Cyrus, please protect us. I'm waiting for you, Lavos. Yep. Need some deinterlacing, but you know, it's pretty fucking awesome. Of course, Magus is like just already awake. Wow. You can open your eyes. We're inside. We beat the odds. No turning back now. But literally, no save point and no warp. Um, and no more epoch. Gone. But, um, doesn't the epoch have laser cannons? Correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't it use the laser cannons at one point against Lavos? Or did I just imagine that scene? It doesn't, right? Okay. Just against Dalton. But yeah, you can do that, and it skips everything you just saw. Like, including the Black Omen, by the way. You do not need to do the Black Omen to do that. But you just... crash your ship into the front of Lavos, and then you're in here. So... Reminds me a lot of Earthbound, but yeah, I really wanted to turn around. When I was younger, I was like, oh god, I'm scared. But I, I carried on. Finally, you have met your match, Lavos. Cyrus, this be our finest battle. Is that Cell? I don't know 100% what that is. I know it's from Dragon Ball Z, but yeah, probably. It's got, you know, eye nipple lasers. So it's pretty fucking insane, whatever is going on here. It's another hand boss, by the way. Because of course it is. Excellent music happening here. And then more excellent music. It's like three fucking unique, amazing songs in a row.
this track or the next one. Um, a, the next couple. This one and a couple. There's a couple more. Is the exterior of Lavos a bio-organic ship? I think it's safe to say that. But it gets even a little weirder after this, even. Is Lavos just the whole thing, or is it the shell like a mobile fortress for him? It, it's it's alien. Whatever it is, it's it's truly alien. Robo says it has the DNA of every creature on Earth in this form. Well, Lavos crashing into the planet influenced life that much. Cell? Well then there you go. Is that what happens in Dragon Ball Z? Cell is that? Is it, is it like a Calamity kind of thing? <laughs> you know Frog really, really wanted to do that. Turns out Frog wasn't even confused. He was just like, oh, oh, oops, sorry about that. Mine sword hath slippeth. So wait, are there smaller versions of this thing inside each of the Lavo spawn? I don't know. And also, this... That's the thing, I don't know. There's some questions left open, but... Some of the material here seems like... Is this a technological, like, Giger-esque carapace? Or is it... Well, not technological, but that would be, like, organic, but... Yeah, I don't know. I mean... Also, wait until um, after this fight, and then we can talk a little bit more about Lavos. Cross leaves shit even more open. It does, yeah. There's a lot of room for you to... Yeah, exactly. You can make up your own... ...explanations. It just gives you enough to play with and think, and think about. And like, yeah, there's all these weird tubes, and this thing has, like, more arms at the top. Like, yeah, it's fucking crazy. Use this. Fuck it. We've got, like, seven more of those. Even though, uh, having a triple tech would be nice, when Magus's magic is useful, it does a lot of fucking damage. Yeah, like 12.50 per turn is no small amount of damage at this point in the game still. Almost doing as much damage as both party members combined. Crazy. And that's not even his most powerful spell, I'm just using it to save some magic.
we've unlocked his potential. And then this fucking thing. Yeah. For once, I think Magus' dialogue is perfect. So, since the dawn of time, it has slept underground, controlling evolution on this world for his own purpose. It, it is too much to bear. We have been reared like animals. Our lives hath been for naught. We were created only to be harvested. All people and all living things. My life retaineth its meaning. We have it our own will. It's over for you. Your life ends here. Maybe another one of the best songs in the game? This is called World Revolution. I don't remember which one to kill first. I kind of always forget. Well, the one that I actually did damage to, clearly, we'll stick with that one for a little bit. But yeah, it's just a weird fucking, like, again, weird biomechanical spacesuit type thing. And, um... Jeez. I always thought it looked like a... Like a dog. In the helmet. It's either a crusty alien, old man, or like a dog. But it leaves... There's so many questions. Like, what is it? What is it? Has it been in that suit inside, or is this just some kind of weird hallucination? I, I... Believe it or not. This main thing here isn't even Lavos. That's the other crazy thing about it. Do you know what Lavos is? It's the thing on the right. Well... Technically, it has the most HP, and that's, like, how you actually eventually end the fight. I mean, there's probably some debate there. Are all three of these things Lavos? Is the thing on the right Lavos? Uh, is the thing in the middle? And the things on the right just keep it alive? I, I don't fucking know. Oops. This Luminaire may be bad. It may heal something, I don't know. It heals the thing on the right. On the left, rather. Good timing with that rock. I do like that it shows you all the, the, the places you've been. Yeah. 
with how the backgrounds look, it le legit looks like you're inside Lavos's mind or trying to fight the internal systems of Lavos's being. Well, you're seeing all the things it influenced. Generally, I think. You're, you're, you're seeing the, the history that it created. More or less. That's my interpretation, at least. So yeah, that's why it's easy to say that this is the true form of Lavos, because this is the thing that's left after you kill the main body. And it can revive both, which... then the fight becomes a little bit more annoying, but yeah. To get those critical hits, though. That, that helps tremendously. Man. Let's see what happens here. Frog got that? Nope, not yet. That at least is easy. I also like how it revived in the other bits. Looks like it's just pulling them through time. Yeah? I kind of feel like Chrono Cross does a really interesting couple things with Lavos for as convoluted and confusing as that game can be. There's some... There's some stuff that it tr uh, tries to do that I think is really cool. If you read a 30-page wiki to understand it, That sucks. Aren't the games barely related? They're more than barely related, but they're... You know, they're completely different games, but... Lavos is a big part of it, and his influence is a big part of it. And how... The timeline split, and, you know, how... How it... Happened through Lavos... And through, um... The new futures that were created, it, 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 it's crazy. I mean, it's it's really interesting if you can kind of, like, parse every bit of information that's given to you. But it's a little tough to do that. At the very least, there are things in Chrono Cross that you see that have a very strong emotional impact. Like, you can feel that it's fucked and crazy. I, I keep defaulting to that word, it's a little reductive, but... There's some stuff involving, like, a ruined future that makes me feel something every time, even if I don't fully understand, like, how it got there, 100%. As many wouldn't on first playthrough. But, um, I do, I do really love Chrono Cross. As flawed as it may be. Okay. The middle lad is gone again. You don't want the middle lad gone and, and the two bits remaining. That, that's... That's a ticket to disaster right there. Chrono Cross shows how time travel can have consequences you don't really expect or see coming. That's a good description of it. My old playthrough of Chrono Cross is still on the Full Sauce channel. Obviously, it's seven years ago, so... You know, six or seven years ago, so in that sense... Um, who knows what's in there? 
it is wild to think about like things that were important to me seven years ago that may not be now. I mean, but regardless, I do think even then, like I still knew how to explain the game and do a decent stream of it. I hope. I saw a video that was going around of me explaining the battle system. And it's a notoriously confusing battle system, and people were leaving comments like, Holy shit, I didn't understand this for years, and now I do. Thank you. So, that felt good. I tried to explain it as concisely as possible. I think it is almost dead, chat. So yeah, I don't mean to put people off to Chrono Cross, but it is a lot less accessible than this game. It doesn't have as much... It's not a sequel. You don't have any of these same characters. You do a little bit, but not in the way you expect. And even, like, the world itself is different. Oh, there you go. Got it. But I would say it's a great game in its own right, and I do have a lot of fondness and good memories of it. People put a, did a lot of flashing lights. Chrono. 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 It's time to rise and shine. We have a little surprise for you. This is Chrono's husband. <laughs> His name is Soldier. Your stay of execution has been canceled. We must now carry out your sentence. We've been looking for you, Chrono. Where did you take my daughter? Daddy, don't! Chrono hasn't done a thing! She says Chrono has been a perfect gentleman. But, what do you think, Chancellor? Chrono's deeds have had an enormous impact on the kingdom. Chancellor, how could you? Please, just listen to me. We had to. Save the future, right? Huh? You saved the future and gave us hope. You fought Magus' troops and brought peace to the kingdom in the year 600. Yeah, we listen, we can talk about that old guy being here during the credits. Chrono beat Reptites! What's going on here? Luca, you brought them here, didn't you? Our kinsman told me all about your incredible mission. Kinsman? You mean they're my ancestors and descendants? <laughs> Here I was fussing about my kingdom and my daughter, and you were saving the past, present, and future. Now, for a true victory parade, tonight we celebrate you, the player. I mean, Chrono. Now, Marl. Go out and enjoy the last night of the fair. <laughs> Come along with Chrono, our hero. Princess Nadia is finally home. At last, Guardia is back to normal. It's a moonlight parade! Where'd they hire this imp fellow? I guess that also leads to a little bit of a conclusion to the Medina storyline with the mystics and everything. 
See, everyone's getting along just fine. Is the time machine alive or destroyed? It's around. Time machine's around. Because I reloaded. I loaded the save. Again, there's a lot of endings. If you want to see the rest of them, you can find them on YouTube, I'm sure. And, um... A lot of them are really interesting. I am completely fine and very satisfied by this ending every time I play. But there's some more com uh, comedy endings, there's some stuff that just changes stuff every ever so slightly, and then there's some more drastic ones, like the Reptites actually... ...winning, and being the dominant species on Earth, uh, uh, on Chrono. Chronoville? Chronoland? Honey, don't just be a sack of potatoes, dance with me! Chrono, the king says you saved the future! What will I tell my friends? Yum, lemonade sure tastes great outdoors! Chrono, have a sip, you're the hero today! So, remember, we saved her legs. Well, Luca saved her legs, and now she wants to dance. So just another little moment that's really sweet. You saved us all? That's nice, dear, but I wish you would spend more time around the house. It's a real problem when the person who's in charge of the cat is gone. I like how a cat is just in the parade. Not much business in weapons anymore, but I like it that way. All the other sections are cordoned off. Earlier you said Chrono was wearing a scarf, but he doesn't wear a scarf. Oh, I didn't- I'm sorry, I said scarf, I mean a cloak. I- if I- I'm- yes. In the box art, he's wearing like a cape, like a cloak. Um, the scarf was me misspeaking, sorry about that. He's- he's wearing a scarf here, <laughs> yes. Well, everyone, this is it. Each to thine time. The gate has grown weak. We've gotta say our goodbyes before the gate closes. You're all leaving? Chrono was strong. Marl too. Ayla, have fun. You're my distant ancestor, so you'd better have tough kids or I'll be in trouble. <laughs> no worry. Ayla, very strong. Right. Hey, what do you mean by that? Kino dummy, we go now! That was Snoo Snoo. Y y Snoo Snoo. Tis a feisty crowd, but they are thine kin, and tis of consequence. Queen Lean awaits. Your Majesty, we too shall take our leave. I love this. The, the further arrangement of this song. Mr. Frog. Long farewells never were necessary. Right. Besides, actions speak louder than words. Yeah. Don't these things end with the princess kissing the frog? So, you're going to search for Shala? Says nothing. Leaves. <laughs> Luca, I will miss you. But what's wrong, Luca? Aren't you gonna say goodbye to Robo? She knows. Knows what? Robo was born in a bleak future. When we defeated Lavos, we changed history. Robo 
may not exist in the future. Uh, please relax. The new future has a place for me. Darn it, Robo. Don't pretend you don't care when you're really sad. It just makes things worse. Luca, you have taught me these emotions. Thank you. Tears don't become you, Luca. Robo will be there in the new future. Goodbye. Caution! Oil has washed over my sight sensors. Sight diminished. <laughs> I swear, every time I do this, it rains a little bit more every time I play it. Do you remember that talk we had? You mean about whether our lives flash by before we die? Yeah, well, I get the feeling that that entity is finally at rest. Yes, I feel that too. <sighs> Time travel, how exhausting. We should dismantle the epoch. This job is finished. You naughty thing, come back here. Look, Chrono, your cat's running away because you haven't been feeding it. Hey, come back here. Oh, great, Chrono, the gate will never open again. <laughs> well, it looks like we have no choice but to go after them. That's the one character moment you get from Chrono. Go after them, but the gates... Luca, don't turn off your brain yet. I forgot. We have a time machine. Nyaha ha. Oh, princess, the king asks for your presence. So happy. Now there's no reason for you to go away anymore. I have a gift for you to commemorate, to commemorate this day, Princess Nadia. This is Nadia's bell. It will ring out across the land. Where did you go? Could someone please lend me a hand? Uh, Daddy, I hate to say this, but I, I can't sit around doing nothing. You know what? It's kind of unfair for me to... ...say that Marl doesn't have stuff to do. I don't think I've ever said that, but she is kind of the heart of the story in a lot of ways. Just in, made it just in time. Uh, no, Tabin, actually, I could really use your help. Um, there's another ending where I think Marl and Chrono get lifted up into the sky on the balloons. That's the balloon ending. That's when you crash the epoch and it's destroyed. Look at those two legends, together. Uematsu and Mitsuda. And this music is enough to also just, like, wreck me if I let it. But it, like, this whole Mode 7 area here, not to be a buzzkill, but... Where was all of this land? <laughs> When we were flying around. But yeah, what a game. What a game. And what an ending, too. I mean, well, one of many, but this one... 
This one's my ending that I, I consider to be the the ending. But yeah, the robo thing, like... They address that with Doan. Like, why is he... There he is, right there. He made it to a new future. A better future. We, we saw Dactyl. And Magus is just floating around being a weirdo. Magil. What's that dude's name in Chrono Cross? That isn't Magus, but is clearly Magus. Guile. Yeah. I do have a couple major problems with Chrono Cross in regards to this nice happy ending. But I also choose to feel that that's something that if there was another game, or just by nature of how Chrono Trigger and Chrono Cross work, could have been a par parallel dimension, could be a time travel thing, so it doesn't kill me. But there's some, you know, yeah, there's some stuff I, I really don't like. The future did change. What's wrong with Chrono Cross? Uh, a conversation that I've had too many times, and I don't want to get into spoilers, but it does do some some very, very, um... It takes liberties with some of the characters in a way that is upsetting. So, look it up if you want. I say that as someone who overall does like the game a lot. But it, it's... It's a little... It's a little harsh, to say the least. Um, well, again, I, I could say spoilers. It's a lot to explain, and I know I'm going to forget some details, so... I don't want to ruin it for people who might play it. That's all. But, um... There's another part of me that doesn't want to go into it to ruin this nice moment. But we do have the, um... The animated ending we can take a look at. want the upscale I'm looking for the upscale version or at least a cleaner version um does anyone have a link thank you Okay, so here's the version that was made by Toei for the PlayStation 1 um, edition of Chrono Trigger. This is only 720p, but it's it's been upscaled. You know what? These upscales do look pretty good. And the colors are nice, and yeah. There's still a little... Yeah, you can you can see where some of it's not great, but it's okay. They get married.
Though personally, I'm upset that Chrono didn't marry Bulma. They get married, too. There he is, in human form. New Goku just dropped. Green hair Goku, confirmed. It's just a little, little extra. Melchior. They're gonna drink. You, they're gonna get so drunk after this. So, that's cool and everything. But there's, there's Luca. And this ties directly into Chrono Cross, for better or worse. Yep. Oh, I will tell you. Here's a fucking spoiler. Click off now if you don't want Chrono Cross spoilers. Thank you for watching, by the way. Um, it's been an amazing journey. Uh, it didn't work out great. Okay, you can unmute now. Uh, anyway, that's it. So, uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for work. Uh, watching. Wow. Uh, working. Um, thank you for watching. So, obviously, it makes me very happy to play this game and to, um, to go through it with people who are watching it for the first time. And um, last time I played it four years ago, we had that. We had that now. And the reason I started streaming this game is because um, there's a slight disillusionment I have about some aspects of streaming in general. And... Um, it's nice to get back to, and, and just, you know, seasonal depression from the winter, but, um, I'm doing, I'm doing fine. It's okay. I'm doing all right. You don't have to do anything. What must I do? Nothing. This was a really good playthrough for me, and I loved it, and it brought back a lot of good memories, and I know that we made some new memories even, and I saw so many things that I hadn't seen previously, and I think it was great. And it is a very important game for me. As a game, it holds up. The pacing is amazing. Sure, there's some stuff at the end that drags a little bit. But overall, I was looking forward to every Chrono Trigger play session. Even though this is like my 15th time playing it or so. Whatever it is, I looked forward to it every time I streamed it. So, was great. Thank you for sharing this with me. Thank you for go going on this journey, even if you haven't had any interest in Chrono Trigger. And, uh, it was, it was fun. So, will there be a Chrono Cross playthrough again, ever? Could happen. There is the, you know, most recent release with better character models and, um, better frame rates. I don't know if anyone upscaled the backgrounds in a way that they don't look like shit. But there is definitely a chance I would check out that new version. I just don't know when. I'd have to be in a very, very particular mood. But, um... If I play Chrono Cross... Uh, sorry, Chrono Trigger once every four years. Maybe Chrono Cross is once every eight years. <laughs> it's time, man. It's time. Well. Thanks again.
I guess we can... We can take a, a moment here, and... I will be right back. And I'm gonna play some Metroid HD. So... Stick around. <laughs> <laughs> 